All right, this is fifth grade, module four, lesson one. And uh, this lesson is unlike any other lesson in this module. It's kind of an outlier. Um, we are going to be plotting points on a line plot uh, with, uh, you know, like an accuracy of halves, quarters, and eighths. All right, and it's one of those things where you've got your numbers down here, and then you put the X's where they go, and it kind of looks like a bar graph, but it's, it's on a, a number line, on a line plot, and we're going to be uh, involving fractions in our uh, number line. So let's get going. The first thing they want us to do is to make a line plot, and so I'm going to draw a line, and they want us to do a, a line plot for all... Whoa. <laughs> all these, I forgot I have my lightsaber, um, for all these fractions right down here. And I can see that the smallest fraction is one-eighth, and then the largest fraction is one and one-fourth. Now, some students might be confused and think that one-fourth might be smaller than one-eighth. So, teachers, parents, you might have to talk about how we know that one-eighth is smaller than one-fourth. So anyway, we know that um, we're going to do up to 2 because our, our largest number is uh, over 1 but less than 2. So let's start at 0, and let's go all the way up to 2. And the first thing I'm going to do is record the whole numbers. So there's our whole numbers. And now, because we definitely see that we're going to have to go into quarters, uh, let's, let's start by identifying where the quarters are, the fourths. So there is our fourths. And then, well, heck, we might as well uh, plot those. So let's see. Here's a three-fourths, so that's going to go right here. Um, and then here's another three-fourths, so that'll go right here. And then here's a one-fourth, so that will go right here. Here's one and one-fourth, so that'll go right here. Here's a one-fourth, so it'll go right there. And then here's one whole, so we might as well plot that, because that's really easy. That's going to go right here, one whole. So now we have the eighths. So the eighths are half of the fourths. So in between each of these quarter markers, are the eighths. And so one eighth, and I'm going to continue doing this in blue just to be consistent, is one eighth right there. Three eighths is going to be, let's see, so we've got one eighth, two eighths, three eighths. So right here is three eighths. And then we have another one eighth, so I'll put that right here. And then we've got a final one-eighth, and I will put it right there. And there is our line plot. So now we have some questions that they want us to answer. So the first question is, which location received the most rainfall? And we know that the one that re received the most rainfall is this one, and that's one and one-fourth. So that means location number six received the most rainfall. Which location received the least rainfall? That would be all of these down here. So that's one-eighth. So that's location one, uh, location seven, and location ten. Here's one, seven, and ten. And then question C, which rainfall measurement was the most frequent? Well, that's the thing we just did, which is one-eighth. And what is the total rainfall in inches? Now, to do that, we're going to have to add all of these numbers. All of these fractions over here, we're going to add them up. So before we add these fractions, um, let's see if we can combine the fractions that already are, have common denominators. It makes it easy for us to add. And we can see that we've got one-eighth, three-eighths, another one-eighth, and another one-eighth. 
So if we add the numerators together, we've got 1 plus 3 more is 4, plus 1 more is uh, 5, plus 1 more is 6. So right there, that adds together and gives us 6 eighths. All right. <clears throat> now let's add the quarters, the fourths together, and I'll do that in red. So we've got 3 fourths plus another 3 fourths, so that makes 6 plus another fourth gives us 7, plus another fourth gives us 8 fourths, plus another fourth right here, so that gives us 9 fourths. So I'm going to write that down, 9 fourths. And then the other thing I, I haven't added in are the whole numbers. So we've got this whole number and then this whole number, so we add those together, we get 2. All right. Now I'm going to make life a little bit easier here. And I'm going to take 6 eighths and reduce it to 3 fourths, because we know how to do that. And I'm going to change 9 fourths to 2 and 1 fourth, because I can. And then we have two holes right here. And look at this. 3 fourths plus 1 fourth, that gives me one hole, plus these two plus these two. So all together, this equals 5. So that's our total amount of rainfall. And that wraps up Grade 5, Module 4, Lesson 1, um, where we were plotting on a line plot using fractions.